Montreal. How you doing, Montreal? <laughs> so, now, I don't know, party. I think if they can get loud, if you are ready to make some noise, then with me and party, make some noise now! I love it. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for speaking up. Thank you for making your voices heard. Thank you for showing that when we come together, we can create a better community, a better province, a better country, a better world. Because the truth is, you know, today we're going to have fun. We're going to be loud. We're going to dance. We're going to celebrate. But the truth is that we're also going to cover a lot of important causes because the world needs you. When I opened the newspaper this morning before coming here, I saw headlines about violence, about war, about poverty, about neglect, about natural disasters. When you look at the world today, at times it can feel pretty overwhelming. And if you've ever felt that way, if you've ever felt that you're one person and what difference can you make, then I, I know how you feel. Because when I was 12 years old, in 1995, when we started all this, one morning I was reaching for the comics in my local newspaper and I saw a story about a young child slave from Pakistan. He was sold, he escaped, he spoke out, he was killed at 12 years of age. Now I was the same age at that point, so our similarities in our age got me so angry that I brought this to my classmates. I said, I need your help, will you join me? 11 hands went up, 11 plus me, there were 12 of us. At the time we were all 12 years old. So we called ourselves the group of 12 12 year olds. It was actually our name. It lasted like two weeks until one of us had our 13th birthday. We didn't see that coming. But people told us at the time that we were too young. We had to wait until we were older. Wait until we graduate. Wait until we become an adult. Wait and then we could change things. But we didn't want to wait. The truth is the world couldn't wait. Because there's so many problems that need us to tackle this right now. And that's why we created the WE organization. Our mission is to support you to better the world. Our mission is to make doing good doable. Because we believe that when young people come together, they can be a force for incredible good in this world. And if you believe that too, then I need you to make some noise. You see, your generation that believes in change, that believes in inclusivity, that believes in reaching out, that believes in tearing down walls, that believes in supporting each other. We call this Generation We. You're going to hear a lot about that today, Gen We, Gen We. So I want to start with some energy to get this going. I'm going to ask you some questions. If you agree that I want to hear you respond with the words Gen We, if you agree then I want to hear you respond with the words, Gen We. So who will stand up for those being bullied? Gen We! Okay, so who will come together to fight inequality in our world? Gen We! Okay, who will raise their voice no matter where there's injustice? Gen We! So we need you to bring that energy, that commitment today you see, I learned when I was a teenager, when I was the same age as most of you in this room, that changing the world starts in my classroom. Because when I needed help, when I read that story about child labor, the first thing I did was go to my teacher. Now those teachers turn young people into citizens to better our world. My parents are teachers. My aunts are teachers. My uncles are teachers. Every cousin except one is a teacher. It's like a whole family. So I'm gonna ask a favor. If you're a teacher, would you please stand up for a moment? If you're a teacher, would you please stand up? And give them, yes, a huge round of applause. Thank you to teachers for the role that you play here today. Thank you. So whether you're a teacher, a principal, an educator, whoever you are supporting the young people in their development, thank you. And you know this, that the mission of We Schools is to provide the free service learning materials to help empower students to make a difference. So today we're going to learn about dozens of different causes, organizations, ways to get involved to make a difference right in Montreal, in Quebec, in Canada, and around the world. 
So We Schools is all about making a difference here. We Villages is how you make the difference around the world. Now, I know some of you have probably heard this before, but five pillars of sustainable development, education, clean water, food security, economic empowerment, and healthcare. This is how villages can lift themselves out of poverty. But here's something amazing. We're here today to celebrate all that you've accomplished, all that young people across Quebec and Canada have accomplished. And did you know that since the WE organization started, your coin drops, your birthdays for a cause, have raised enough money to build a thousand schools and schoolhouses around the world, 200,000 kids graduating from them. And that's pretty epic. Do you think about it, when we started in grade seven, we wanted to build one school and people laughed at it, never imagining that when enough youth came together, we could create this incredible impact. Here's another great stat for you. Your car washes, your bake sales, have raised funds to provide one million people with permanent sources of clean drinking water and over 15 million nutritious meals around the world. So you remember how I started at the beginning by saying, I, I, I start every morning, actually every two, three newspapers a day to see what's going on in the world. And when I looked at the headlines this morning, like sadly so many of the mornings in the world, I see these negative headlines. But the truth is, that the reason we come together here today is to literally write new headlines. Because I believe we can answer cynicism with idealism. We can answer despair with hope. And together, we can build the world that we all want to live in. And so to enable what's taking place today and through this entire year as part of the We Schools, the resources that are provided to We Schools kids for free or the We Day program that's provided for free, they're all generously supported by some amazing sponsors. And so I want to say thank you to those partners who help enable this to take place. Can you please join me in giving them a round of applause? Thank you very much. I'm going to ask you to give a special round of applause to a couple of groups. Firstly, to our national co-title sponsors, RBC and TELUS, for all that they've done to support the WE movement all across the country. Thank you very much. We want to say a special thank you to our WE Day co-chairs here in Quebec. Those are the people who do all the hard work behind the scenes. So people like 